welcome to Standard Online. We're here today with Keith Lemon. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I think I'm doing all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've I, got... I probably look a bit tired. Every time I go on any online presence on Twitter or anything, or do a live stream, everyone goes, you look tired. That's because I'm at home and they haven't put tele makeup on me. <laughs> because normally I've got really translucent eyebrows and eyelashes, and that makes you look even tireder. And um, so they draw them on. So have we got the real you right now, or have we no, got the is, made up? this is the Love Island version of me. <laughs> Why aren't you in that villa? I know, because I was busy shopping. Oh, so you're going to be one of the bombshells. I'm, I'm still filming, still filming shopping now. Oh, are you? Well, yeah. obviously that's why you're here today. Um, please tell me that idea came up because you were just in Asda one day, buying your fruit and veg and thought, this is great. It's quite similar. I was having a, a catch-up meeting with the commissioners at ITV2, and um, we were talking about another programme and I said, don't you think it'd been better if we'd have seen them shopping? And there was a cameo from a celebrity, it was another programme. And then I just went, and that's, that's what I'm pitching at you. It's called shopping and I go shopping with a celebrity. It's a chat show on the move. I said, I'm sure one of my friends um, will be up for doing like a, a taster. And they went, we're doing it. I went, well, just, it's worth doing a taster because it, it's not going to be a big budget show, I guess. We just shop, we're doing it. I went, all right, cool. Then I got drunk with them, and then I ran back to the office and said, I think we've just got a pilot for a new show called Shopping, where I go shopping with celebrities, and it's a chat show, but shopping. Is it usually that easy to no. pitch a show, or well, were you well, sort of shocked? It wasn't a pitch meeting, it was a, well, yeah, a, a, yeah. Just a conversation that, that happened, and um, and then I, told, I can remember telling him there, and then he, he tw um, tweeted me the other day with a little picture, because I was doing online presence saying it's on at 10 o'clock on ITV2 on Thursday, straight after Love Island. And um, <laughs> he says, look at that, an idea turned into a real thing. I said, I don't know. But it isn't normally like that. Normally it's sat in an office. And what should we do that they'll say yes to? What can we get paid for this time messing about? <laughs> but it is such a good concept because I imagine they are almost distracted from thinking that they're being interviewed. Because well, you have you're chat just... show front, don't you? Yeah. As I have right now, I guess. Look at me being all well behaved and everything. It's me, I'm here. But um, you do have chat show front, and you've got to say when your show's coming out or when your album is dropping. And um, but when you're shopping, you get really good chat. And the director says, "You look, you look like he's watching. He says you're like a puppet, because a puppet can get away with saying anything, and you can, because I guess." Um, I can go further than Piers Morgan can. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna say that actually, because obviously he grills so many people. He does, and he gets, he gets answers. But you, this show, you just do it in a way where they probably don't even realise what they're saying. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you're just having a chat. Well, it's a little bit like that on Juice sometimes. Yeah. But that's all kind of booze fueled. It's a boozy dooey celebrity Juice. But, but whilst we're shopping, um, we're there. I think the longest we're there is like a, I'm shopping for a day. Sometimes it's half a day. Um, when you're in a chat show, you're there for 10 minutes and then you go. So I guess they feel a bit more comfortable. And then I feel more comfortable with them and go, I wonder if I'm allowed to ask this, what will they say and stuff. And, um, and I can word things differently. Mm. So I, I didn't really set out for it to be even uh, a comedy show as such. Just, just adult chat is what I wanted to do. And um, I guess I ask, I'm not conventional host, am I, I guess? Because look at me, I've got a straw hat on that's about a foot long and a tartan <laughs> suit on. And, um, so I'm not very conventional. And I guess that's where humour comes in, my non-conventional delivery of uh, the way I host, I guess. But did, did you have some of them that, that did sort of go, oh, actually, can we not put that in? Um, did you have a lot of that? Because obviously it is so sort of relaxed. Um, not really. No, I don't think so, no. I think I, I, we went, I went shopping to a garden centre with Alan Carr, he wanted some fat balls. <laughs> I said, do you just want to say fat balls on telly? Do you know what fat balls are? Yeah. I didn't know what they were. For the birds. For the birds, for the birds yeah. yeah my suet. Has them. Suet. Oh, is that what it is? It's seeds. With, it's suet with seeds in. Oh, like what you make dumplings out yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some are, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's fat, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then, so we just did the chat and stuff and walk around it. And he said, yeah, hey, what are we doing? And he, he said, are we, are, when are you going to do something? So they're not doing anything, which says we're just chatting. Like, this is it. It's, it might not work. <laughs> we'll see. But we were just chatting. Did he like it eventually? Did he get into it? And I, at the end, he went, oh, I had a good time. <laughs> and um, I, I had a good time. I've had a good time with everyone that I've been shopping with. Mm. It's, it is, it's really interesting. And um, a couple of people that I knew 
um, I know a bit more and have become friends with them. Like who? Well, I knew Amanda Holden yeah. a little bit, um, but now I, I feel like I'm her friend now. Mm -hmm. yeah, I text her and stuff and meet up with her. I so. mean, that, that must have been funny because that was a booze cruise, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Did, we, did you get drunk? Only a little bit, little just bit. a little, because we were just tasting wines. Oh, I don't yeah. really drink wine, mm. uh, but we tasted some wines. But um, some illegal immigrants got in our van whilst we were in Calais. <laughs> they actually? Yeah. And then the, the guy was with us driving the van, so I have to get the guys out. I thought it really exciting. <laughs> Uh, but we saw some dodgy looking characters. So it was like shopping yeah. with Keith Turns Border Force. Yeah, they opened the back of a van and there's some men in there. <laughs> I don't know what they were saying because they were French. Did you get them just... out? I didn't, I just stood back. Just be like, do you want to come shopping? It's not, it's not my job, is it? <laughs> they, they might have said, no, we're coming with you. <laughs> you ginger you, did pig. You, ginger pig with your big hat. <laughs> Yeah. Did you have quite a lot of input in who you brought on? Was it pretty much your say that like, I'm going to get Caroline? No, or? I, I, we, I, it's same with Juice. There's a, a massive list and you just tick names. Mm. And uh, we talk about, you know, it'd be great to go shopping with Kylie. It'd be great to go shopping with Winona Ryder from Stranger Things. Oh. Um, but at the end of the day, you get hoes around for scheduling. Scheduling's always the problem. So someone might say, I'd love to, but I can't. Because at the moment, we're waiting on Anna Friel. We're supposed to do Anna Friel on Tuesday. Right. Um, she's filming in Bel Belfast. And then the script changed for what she's doing, so she couldn't do it. But So they're trying to rearrange. Mm. So I still haven't finished shopping, which I'm glad about because I like doing it. It must be quite fun, yeah. It's a wicked job. And also... I'm like, a shopaholic anyway. Exactly. Yeah. And also, it must be really... Because it's actually fascinating, like, watching how someone would shop. Some, like, like, some dudes don't like shopping. Yeah. M a lot of men don't like shopping, mm. but, but I do, so... It's nice to see someone cringing when they're shopping as well. But you know, all the celebrities they're on, we've gone, they go, oh, what do you want me to do? We go, well, it's up to you, it's your trip. Where do you want to go? So you've got Mel B wanting to go to Asda. That is just great. She likes to show that she keeps it real and goes to Asda, but then admitted that she, she steals things. <laughs> she went, like, what, what are we just talking? To, just to live life on the edge, like a potato. Just one singular potato. She just put that put in, in a pocket. pocket. Yeah, and like she's got a lucky charm in a pocket. <laughs> and um, we had to say we don't condone stealing, obviously. Yeah. Of, of course. And um, where did Caroline Flack went? She went. She wanted car. to buy a car. Yeah. yeah. So we went for a test drive in some car that I thought was way too big for her. But she opened up. I've known Caroline for a mm. long time, and um, I said to her afterwards, I went, "Well done. I thought you conducted yourself really well." Because I asked her. I asked her stuff. I did. <laughs> I can I did. imagine. What, have you done this? Did you do that with him? Yeah. You know? Was she uh, forthcoming? She just handled herself really well, I felt. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, 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 she didn't hide. Yeah. And, and she said what she wanted to say. Yeah, she was good. Were there, were there any that you would definitely go shopping with again? Because you know, like sometimes people. All are, of them. All of them. Yeah. 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 But again, I'm not some investigative journalist. It is just. I want it to come across as adult chat. Mm. That's what it is. It is yeah. just adult chat, yeah. Do you think you'll ever have a Holly on it? Yeah, I would like to. And whilst when I, when I got the commission, I said to Holly and Phil, I said, oh, I've got the show, I'm going to go shopping with people. We should go shopping together, us three. And, uh, but we haven't. Oh, you should. But that I, would I be think great. We've only got one more name to get, and then that's the series finished. Um, so, but I don't know what that'll be. Get her on the next there was, one. Um, Lindsay Lohan was going to do it. Um, I don't know where she's in a different country doing some show about running, having parties. Yeah. And she said she scratched her eye. So then we changed the date um, and then she missed a flight. And we're like, don't spend any more money on her. She's just messing about, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's up to her old scratchy eye missing a plane. <laughs> but she would have been interested, That'd I guess. That would have been so good. Yeah. And obviously you, you reunited with Fern on it. For the first time since yeah, Juice, yes. Yeah, how was so that? I asked her, I um, um, why did you leave? Celebrity Juice, and I don't want the PR answer. Mm. I want to know the real reason. But the PR answer was the real reason. Yeah. It's because she's concentrating on her happy place, which yeah. is a podcast and whatever else, whatever format her happy place is. I don't understand it fully, but it's all about um, um, well-being and, yeah, um, yeah. you know, mental health You mean problems you haven't bought her books? I don't understand them. Because <laughs> it's simply, I just, I say to her, don't think. Yeah. Thinking's dangerous. I don't think. <laughs> That's your book. Yeah, just don't, don't, don't think. think. Just blank loads of pictures <laughs> with me wearing big daft hats. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss having her on Juice? 
I, she was a big part of yeah, it for a long time. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to do a programme, me and Fern. Mm. Some sort of road trip vibe would be nice. Oh, nice. Um, I don't know. Wish You Were Here would be nice to bring that back. Wish oh, You Were Here, great. you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me with Fern Cotton <laughs> in Scarborough. No, you know what you should bring back? Supermarket Suite. Yeah, More well, I did, I did a Winter. thing with Alison um, Hammond on um, this morning. Yeah. Shopping around with her. And they put Supermarket Suite music on. I thought, ooh. <laughs> Like, oh. Ooh. It's, it's nice to bring back old programmes, I think, and give them a contemporary spin by having a dingbat host them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you get like, a straight <laughs> presenter, oh, I, I think know. what's the point? I you think can't. that's why um, Keyhole worked, because mm. um, I, I, I'm a dingbat, I guess. <laughs> But you need someone funny just, to do those shows. Just a bit more humorous, yeah, yeah. 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 I, think, I think so, yeah. You're like, yeah, I'm funny, that's me. I'm funny, me. <laughs> you know what? I bumped into Emily Atak in LA. Oh, she's I'm name great. name dropping and t telling you where I've been. We need a little clang. I know. <laughs> and, um, so what are you doing out here? She says, oh, I'm having meetings. So how's it going? She went, oh, I'm smashing it, because you know, I'm fit and funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, fit and funny. So that's how it works for me, I guess. But you've got it. What is it RuPaul says? If you can't love yourself... Well, she is fit and funny. It's like... She is. Exactly, it's she true. She is fit and funny. When it comes to your own shows, do you do you tune in? Like, will you watch it when it launches well, 10 o'clock Thursday? The other night, I watched um, the best of Celebrity Juice because mm. I didn't see most of the series. I didn't need to because I was yeah. in it. I was there <laughs> watching it live. and um, But I watched the, the, the compilation show... Uh, which was nice to watch. I went, oh, look what we did. Didn't we do a lot of things? It was nice. And um, I'm not in when um, the show goes out, I don't think. Uh, but I w I've seen it. Yeah. Do you uh, find it funny watching yourself, though? Um, if I'm funny. <laughs> You're quite critical. <laughs> I, I guess so. You got, or you go, mm. what am I wearing? What do I wear that for? So why don't someone know. tell me? I like elaborate clothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, can tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And obviously, you were with Flack on this series. Love Island is on at the moment. Yeah. Are you a fan? Am I a fan of Love Island? Oh, that's a difficult question. <laughs> it's interesting. It's an interesting programme. It is, yeah. Yeah, and it's on before mine, so I capture <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> you watch that. I'm, a, I'm a, fa a fan of Caroline Flack. Yeah, and yeah. And good luck to all those people looking for love mm. with their abs and perfect bodies. Oh, my God, they're, they're just so perfect. I know. Do, don't you think they should do a, a different kind of Love Island with average-looking people in Definitely. a not-so-glamorous location? Yep. where it's raining all the time. <laughs> oh, my God, everyone would be <laughs> tuning in. <laughs> Look at their miserable faces. But it's true, though, because it's such a weird... Like, even this year, there was this... I'm sure you've heard it. That guy who claims his mother shaves his bum hole. Yeah. You just sort of think, like... Is Why this, would you let like, your mum even look at your bum hole? Yeah. Never mind, shave it. I know. Because he parted his cheeks to his mum. <laughs> And then admit it on TV whilst trying to look. And it's that, laugh. and that, yeah, that's going to impress a <laughs> lady. All those women were like, "Hey, what kind of guy do you like? Do you, do you like a guy who's got no hairs in between his crack, but his mum's shaved off?" Yeah, be like, as long as his mum shaved it. I'm really I'm looking there. for a guy that has a really smooth bum, like a seal, uh, or a Wellington boot, and I hope that his mum that has done that for him. <laughs> Don't know. Yeah, I mean, surprise, surprise, he's now one of the single ones. Is it? So, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So what happens to him then? Do they well, just put we, him in a corner and spit it at him? <laughs> they just box him up. Don't they? No, no, no. Do you no. just walk around the background now then? He's what like, does anyone? he do? Does he? <laughs> no, so now he's... So He'll either go or they've got to wait and see if someone wants to couple up with him. If he doesn't couple up... Oh, then, then he might be out. Oh, is he? Yeah, I mean... But can he stay in if he's not one? coupled up? Usually not this early on. Oh, so it'd be a little shame. bit embarrassing that he admitted that and then he left after week Wouldn't one. it be good if at the end he won? Oh, that'd be great. And his mum's there with the razor. <laughs> <laughs> and then he pulls his cheeks apart, <laughs> live on air. <laughs> his mum's there and then like sponsorship with Gillette. <laughs> oh, that's oh. what he's after. I was just going to say. That's what he's after. Yeah, Wilkinson, one of those yeah, big got, razors. You've got to say it three times first. <laughs> Gillette, Gillette, Gillette. They're three Gillettes. <laughs> Thanks so much for having a chat with no us, worries, Keith. No worries, no uh, worries. Looking forward to the new show. Cheers. It's on Thursday, 10pm, ITV2. Thank you. Good luck with your business. <laughs>